I think I started sewing at six years old. And in high school, I made all my clothes, right? Um, I couldn't afford like the cool clothes. So I used to make my own clothes. I never thought you could do it for a living. I was just doing it for, you know, self-preservation. And when it came time with our brand to be able to go into the cut and sew and realize that like, if our logo is going on it, right? Like if this represents my name, it represents my whole life. It represents that six year old kid. Then I need to do a really good job, right? It represents me. It represents the people that wear it. And in doing that, uh, the more that we dove into this, the more I think I forgot about like the simplicity of printing. And, you know, I grew up writing my name on things, you know, I, as a kid, right? You didn't realize that maybe you were ruining other people's, ruining other people's property. And um, as I got older and I started to fall into this brand, I realized that my signature is worth something. You know, my hand script is worth something. My hand script can add value. And if I can bring the two greatest things in my life, which is me represented by my hand script, represented by things that I can create, and then also a beautiful product, beautiful fabric executed properly with love and care and attention to detail. If we can put that all together in one thing, that's like, that's my true magic, right? That's like me at my best. And I think that's what this, this item represents to me is like me at my best. It's our beautiful flannel, which like the fit of this is, is so much better than anything else out there. And you can quote me on that all day long. The details, the fit, the fabric, everything's perfect. And then on the back of it, we threw this no handouts script, you know, and we did it on purpose. We did one hit because to me, graffiti always growing up and hand scripts always growing up. The beauty of it was that it was put places where it wasn't meant to be and it wasn't meant to be perfect. And when you screen print, you normally hit things twice and that gives it that really nice white. And if you hit it once, it almost makes it transparent. Then if you hit it once over that, it almost gets more transparent. So here, I mean, shit, man, like, it's so cool that like, you can still see the fabric. You can still see the fabric through it. And then here where we cross, like, you know, it gets more saturated and the whites there. I think a decent amount of people would look at that as a mistake but everything on this is intentional. Every single piece of this is intentional. And it was all meant to be here since I was six years old. I can't think of anything greater, man.